The focus of Brian Flores' pre-practice media session Sunday quite naturally was on Xavier Howard and his restructured contract and that was the subject of the first five questions. The first non-Howard question involved a tweet from former NFL general manager Michael Lombardi, who worked with Flores in New England in 2014-15 as an assistant to the coaching staff. In the tweet, Lombardi said teams around the league have suggested the Dolphins would be willing to make a trade to acquire an offensive tackle. Before we examine where the Dolphins stand at offensive tackle, here was Flores' response to the tweet and to the question of whether he's happy with the team's depth at the position. Yeah, we're happy with the guys we have. Like always I'm not going to get into conversations that we have with other teams, but I think we've got good depth along the offensive line. But look, this time of year, there's conversations that are had on a daily basis about players offensively, defensively and in the kicking game. Those conversations will only pick up moving forward. It's that time of the year. I'm not sure that's big news. I think that's just the time of year it is. Everyone is kind of having conversations as we get into preseason games. I was a scout. I went to those preseason games and was looking for offensive tackles, offensive guards, defensive tackles, safeties. I'm timing the long snappers to just see if there's anyone that you feel like is going to get cut loose that could potentially help your team. I'm not sure if that's big, big news. I think everyone's looking for different ways to improve their team and we're definitely part of that. We're no different than any other team. So, yeah, NFL team officials talk to colleagues around the league on a consistent basis as they try to improve their roster. The difference comes when specific players start being discussed. With his answer, Flores is neither confirming nor denying the team is looking for tackle depth via trade. Regarding the first part of his answer, this goes back to the idea of a coach saying what he needs to say, an idea we've tried to make clear many times before. Let's be honest, it's a lot more common for a coach to stand in front of reporters and cameras and say he's happy with his team's depth, at every position, than admit there's a need at a certain position. Sure, there are coaches out there who would be that forthcoming and tell you the depth that tackle is less than ideal, but there just aren't that many of them and Flores certainly isn't among them. So we'll say it for him, the Dolphins have a need at tackle. Here's a rundown of the players listed at that position on the roster, in no particular order. Tymon Paris, Adam Pankey, Austin Jackson, Jonathan Hubbard, Liam Eikenberg and Larnell Coleman. Additionally, Jermaine Aluemunor is listed as an offensive lineman, and Jesse Davis and Robert Hunt each is listed as a guard, tackle. The first team offensive line at practice consistently has featured Jackson at left tackle, Eichenberg at left guard, Hunt at right guard and Davis at right tackle. Yes, the Dolphins could move either Hunt or Eichenberg to tackle if need be, but then that would create a need at guard. There was a school of thought heading into training camp that Eichenberg would be given every chance to get the starting right tackle job as a rookie, but it certainly appears that idea has been shelved, which could be considered disappointing given that the Dolphins gave up a 2022 third round pick to move up eight spots in the second round this year to land him. Of the others, Eluemunor is the one with any kind of NFL experience, though he wasn't signed as an unrestricted free agent this offseason until June. The Dolphins had hoped that former first-round pick DJ Fluker could provide depth on the offensive line, but they put him on injured reserve after he underwent a minor knee procedure that was expected to sideline him about a month, according to multiple reports, and then released him off IR with an injury settlement. A quick scan of available free agents reveals a lack of appealing options, because it features mostly players nearing the end of their career, coming off significant injuries and or with big previous contracts. So, yeah, maybe the best way to address the depth concern at offensive tackle is via a trade, and maybe the most likely option if it happens is landing a proven veteran for either a late round pick or maybe a wide receiver. After all, it's not like the Dolphins don't have a lot of depth at that position. Actually, what they have is a surplus. So it totally would make sense to see if a team would be willing to give up a veteran tackle for a wide receiver, say, somebody like Jakeem Grant or Lynn Bowden Jr. Making a trade in August certainly wouldn't be something new for the Dolphins, who have done it each of the past three years. And in one of those years, they acquired two offensive linemen, Evan Boehm from the Colts and Danny Isadora from the Vikings, toward the end of the month. So, absolutely. There might be nothing to the Lombardi tweet, but also don't be surprised if the Dolphins do make a trade for an offensive tackle.